Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, uh, to thank uh, the organizers for giving me the opportunity to uh, give this talk. Uh, so, um, my work is uh, related to mirror symmetry. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to recall um, uh, what is it. So, in the classical case, it is uh, uh, the duality between uh, 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 Calabi-Yau manifolds. So, uh, homological mirror symmetry relates uh, algebraic geometry of one of the uh, pair uh, with uh, the symplectic geometry of another. And uh, uh, the precise uh, formulation is that uh, the derived category of uh, uh, coherent shifts of X is equivalent to derived category of uh, uh, to uh, the derived Fukai category of Y and vice versa. Uh, also, there are other variants of uh, homological mirror symmetry. Uh, it can be, uh, it was, uh, this conjecture was uh, uh, generalized to some other cases such as Fano manifolds or general type manifolds. And uh, to consider these cases, um, we need to, uh, to consider so-called Landau-Ginsburg models. They are uh, uh, mirrors to Fano and general type manifolds. So uh, Landau-Ginsburg model is uh, given by uh, some space x and uh, a function on x. Uh, to participate in mirror symmetry, it must have uh, some uh, category which uh, reflects the symplectic geometry. Uh, this is so-called Foucault's ideal category. It is uh, constructed by uh, uh, some uh, Lagrangians uh, in vanishing cycles. And uh, also, there is a notion of B brains, uh, so al algebraic part of uh, Landau Ginsburg model. And uh, Kansevich proposed uh, the mathematical definition for this. Uh, these are so called matrix factorizations, which are. like uh, twisted complexes, so that uh, so these are um, M0 and M1 are some uh, um, modules over a spectrum of X. And uh, F0 and F1 are responding maps. So this is in the simplest case. And uh, I uh, will consider the case when uh, W has an isolated singularity, and in this case, matrix factorizations, uh, they are equivalent to the so-called, uh, to the category of singularities of, of uh, the corresponding singular fiber. What? Ah, okay, uh, but, uh, uh, if there are, um, like, many singularities, then uh, the matrix factorizations is uh, the product of the corresponding categories of singularities of, of different fibers. Ah, okay, yes, yes. Sure. 
but nevertheless, uh, I will consider the simplest case. And uh, uh, the category of singularities, it is uh, um, in the affine case, it is defined as uh, the quotient of the de bounded derived category of finitely generated modules over uh, the, the subcategory of uh, of uh, complexes isomorphic to quasi isomorphic to uh, to bounded complexes of pro projective modules. Uh, they are called perfect complexes. Um, uh, this uh, definition also exists uh, in a not defined case. Then it is uh, also uh, it is a derived uh, bounded category of coherent shifts on the variety over uh, uh, factors over factorized over complexes quasi locally quasi isomorphic to uh, locally trivial shifts. And uh, uh, this uh, category is called uh, category of singularities. Um, it was defined by Orlov and it is called uh, in such a way because it uh, measures uh, singularities of the variety. Uh, because, uh, f for example, if um, the variety uh, spectrum R is uh, smooth, uh, which corresponds to the regular ring, then uh, every, uh, any m module over R uh, has a finite projective resolution. And uh, thus uh, it is uh, uh, it is already quasi isomorphic to to the object of uh, the the approach and uh, then this category vanish vanishes <coughs> so this uh, category measures uh, singularities uh, so I will consider such uh, uh, an affine space X and the potential which is given uh, by quasi-homogeneous polynomial which defines an, an isolated uh, singularity at, uh, at the origin. Also, I need to consider uh, actually graded uh, version of uh, of the derived category of singularities, so that all modules are graded, and uh, the grading is given by maximal possible group, which makes uh, uh, W homogeneous, so that uh, uh, there will be examples like uh, like if uh, there are two variables and W is uh, ax, x uh, to p plus y to q, then uh, this maximal grading group can be written down explicitly like it is has uh, uh, two generators which I denote x bar and y bar which denotes the degree of x and y and uh, one relation it's an abelian group, of course. So, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's uh, implicitly mentioned. <laughs> okay. Um, Because I think that uh, m m maybe quasi homogeneous and maybe these two conditions are enough to. No. No? Oh, okay. Okay. So the number of monomials of uh, W is 
the same as number of variables. And in these cases, uh, this um, maximal gradient group actually will be uh, Z plus some torsion subgroup. Okay, so it's of rank one. And uh, uh, torsion is usually non-trivial. So th then in this case, there is a, a conjecture that uh, the corresponding uh, category of singularities is uh, equivalent to um, to some Foucault's ideal category via uh, certain, um, via some uh, bounded drive category of uh, representations of some quiver. And uh, actually, uh, the way to prove this conjecture is uh, to establish such quiver which is common for um, and to such uh, uh, equivalences. Um, and the second equivalence is uh, the fact that there exists quiver with the, uh, with the second equivalence uh, follows from the definition of Foucault's ideal category given by the ideal. And, uh, but it is uh, it's not uh, explicit. So, um, but uh, for the first case, I will uh, build an explicit quiver, and uh, this uh, will prove the first equivalence in for small dimensions. Okay, actually, uh, this conjecture. Yes, 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 it's uh, simple. Uh, so, uh, this conjecture was proved for some cases for ADE singularities, which all belongs to the, which all have such type and uh, for Sigma type. Okay. So the main uh, tool of proving this is uh, uh, to prove that some uh, category is equivalent to the uh, bounded derived category of representations of some quiver. Uh, we can just to build um, full strongly exceptional collection in this category and. Uh, the theorem of Bondel will give us, uh, will provide uh, such equivalence. And uh, a full strongly exceptional collection is, uh, you see it on the board, so that first two conditions, uh, uh, first condition means that each object uh, is, uh, is exceptional, so that uh, endomorphism ring uh, is uh, one dimensional and there are no uh, extensions, non-trivial extensions. And uh, the second condition means that uh, uh, this collection is ordered so that uh, there are arrows uh, just uh, to the right. And uh, third condition means that there are all arrows concent are concentrated in degree zero. And uh, the last condition uh, that uh, this object uh, generates the whole category. So when this uh, conditions uh, hold, uh, then uh, the quiver actually is uh, uh, built from this uh, homomorphism spaces. Okay. And there is such a equivalence. Okay, for example, uh, uh, twisted uh, uh, structure shifts <coughs> form a full strongly accessional collection in db Koch pn. Uh, uh, it is easy to compute homomorphisms uh, and uh, uh, to understand why this is 
strong exceptional collection and uh, uh, Balinson's uh, resolution of the diagonal uh, tells uh, us that uh, this collection is full. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, <coughs> what to do if we want to find such exceptional collection? Uh, if uh, the potential is split in two parts, then there is a Tom Sebastiani theorem to uh, which allow, allow, uh, allows us to build collection of the sum of two potentials uh, from those collections for separate parts. And uh, actually all potentials uh, which we consider, which are quasi homogeneous, have an isolated and have an isolated singularity at zero, and have the right number of monomials. There are um, all sums of uh, potentials of three types. So the simplest case, Fermat type potential, also chain type potential, and loop type potentials. So that. So it's enough to build a collection for just for these cases. Okay. So it's very easy to compute the collection in uh, the case of Fermat high potential. Uh, here, uh, this is uh, on the picture you see a full collection and it is almost strong. Uh, because now it's not yet strong because um, morphisms are concentrated not in degree zero but in degrees one. But uh, it's uh, we can make the strong one so that to shift all objects with. by the appropriate shift. And uh, Tom Sebastiani uh, theorem gives us uh, the collection in the case of n equal to 2. Uh, you see how it is, how it looks like. And uh, uh, when we know how how the collection in the split case looks like, we can guess uh, this collection, actually I guessed the collection into, uh, in the chain type, but uh, for the chain type potential, so that uh, uh, it's not enough uh, to consider uh, just uh, the one dimensional module, uh, but uh, we, need to add something more so that ah, also I need to tell that uh, mm, I consider modules because uh, the category of singularities is the category of modules f uh, uh, f factorized over some other modules. So all um, I can represent objects of this category by, by uh, just modules over the, uh, uh, the ring in the brackets. And uh, okay, so th this is how the collection looks into in the chain type case. Uh, and uh, here, uh, these are modules and uh, this is a, sh a gradient shift. So that X is, uh, as I mentioned, is uh, the degree of x and uh, so an element of gradient group and we can, uh, all modules are graded and uh, we can shift them uh, with respect to this gradient. Okay, so the collection in the loop type potential looks um, slightly similar but here are uh, already more different objects like 
four, four types of objects. One is uh, one dimensional, and this is MY uh, and its shifts, and MX and its shifts, and also we, we need some other object which is given by such quotient. <coughs> okay. And uh, in the um, three-dimensional case, uh, it looks slightly, it looks uh, three-dimensional, actually. <laughs> mm, so uh, the red cube, uh, it uh, just consists of uh, the C uh, module shifted by appropriate grading so that when we, mo we move uh, along the X axis, we shift by minus X uh, and uh, so um, similarly for other. And uh, here we have M Y, here is M Y and all other uh, green part uh, consists uh, of shifts of MY. So here is M just MY, and then uh, when we move to the right along X axis, then we also shift by minus X. And when we move to the left, then we shift by plus X, and so on. And uh, blue part consists of shifts of MZ. Okay. And uh, the loop uh, type potential, it also looks similarly, but also there are some other modules uh, defined and uh, they also participate in our collection. So this is uh, have cyclic symmetry, this picture. So this uh, red cube is still C, and then we have M, Y, M, X, M, Z, uh, green part is M, Y, and here we have yellow part, which is M, X, and also we have an object which is a shift of M, X, Y, Z. Okay, so these are uh, explicit collections, and uh, we can use these collections uh, to also to prove some other conjecture of our law that uh, for the considered uh, potential uh, there exists uh, a strong exceptional, uh, full strongly exceptional collection which has uh, um, block decompositions, which uh, so that uh, it can be decomposed into n plus one blocks and objects uh, inside each block um, must be pairwise orthogonal. So, uh, expi uh, those explicit collections, actually, since they have such nice uh, uh, form, they are, um, they can be immersed into lattice corresponding three-dimensional. Uh, and so we can, and also morphisms are, there are, actually there are arrows just uh, from the object to, uh, to the objects of the same cube. So objects which um, d doesn't uh, lie in the same cube, morphisms are zero for such objects. And uh, so we can apply some, uh, we can apply uh, mutations defined uh, by bundle and to make uh, nice block decompositions. Okay. And uh, also I want uh, to tell that uh, so that I have proved this part, but uh, this doesn't give a uh, unfortunately, the proof uh, of the whole conjecture because uh, the quiver on the right hand side is not explicit. So uh, to prove uh, the whole conjecture, we need to find uh, the same quiver. Um, so 
so the same set uh, of Lagrangians in uh, this category and then it will give the proof. Okay. Oh, thank you.